hello, my old grey wind passes. Going out for a little February spin. I'm not going too far. Uh, the weather's a bit. Yeah. Yeah, you get the general idea. It's cold. It's five degrees. Uh, so I'm just taking it easy. I'm just going to enjoy myself. Try and stop my camera from dismounting itself. Which would be nice. Where am I going to go? That's a good question. Where am I going to go? Do you know, I've no real idea. I have sort of a rough idea of meandering about. This is on the outskirts of Sheffield. We're going up to a, a place called Ringing Low, a little village, I suppose it is. It was. Uh, actually, it's got a, a special house on the corner here, which is called the Roundhouse. I've no idea why. Stupid name. Uh, it was the old toll road into Sheffield uh, from the Manchester area. When I used to work in Wales when I was a lad, we used to go over a bridge called Port Maddock Bridge and there used to be a toll person collecting money. I think it was 20 pence. And not very much, but uh, it went towards the repair of the uh, Port Maddock Bridge until they built the bypass a few years ago. I think they abolished the tunnels long before then. Well, it's murky overhead, but you know, it's nice on this seat on the Multistrada. I'd like to say that again, the Multistrada. Which is better than a GS. 1250 GS out and there's nothing wrong with it, it had a nice strong motor, it handled well enough but I think the one thing it didn't do was stick two fingers up at pensioners on the corner of cafes. Just, I don't know, it just didn't thrill me in the same way that uh, a Ducati does. Or if you're in America you say Ducati, Ducati, why did you do that? No idea, this is the roundhouse. No idea. More of an oxygen than a round. You've got misnamed. You've got round doorknobs. Oh, there's a cyclist. He wants all the road. All the road for the cyclist. Into the Peak District National Park we go. Looking murky and lubbery overhead. nice. It's cold. It's cold. I can feel the wind chilling up my clothing. I might have to turn my heater jacket up to medium. How bad is that? And here's a wanker. Oh sorry, a walker. I always get them confused. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice baby. Mm. We're coming up to Burbage. I'm going to stop so we can overlook Burbage. There's Burbage North and Burbage South, and ooh, the road looks a bit manky there, doesn't it? Hoped it had dried out a bit. It's uh, three something in the afternoon. Hot 
time is it? I don't know, it didn't look. There it is, it says 4pm on the clock. So in that case it's 4pm. Unless this is still on daylight saving, in which case it's 3pm. 10 past 3. I don't know, I really don't know. And do you know what? I don't think I care. It's going to go dark soon. The sun is drawing down at around about five o'clock. So I've either got an hour or two, depending upon whether I've got my clock set correctly or not. In the distance, that's Stanage. Irvidge and Stanage are two brilliant climbing spots in uh, outside of Sheffield, the edge of Sheffield. If you like climbing, it's a place to go. If you don't like climbing, then don't go. Huh. Stop just here for a little bit. Some horrible adverse candle. a lovely valley with a stream down the middle. It's kind of idyllic. What we really need is some deer wandering across that field so we could shoot them and have them with red wine. Uh, I think, I think we'll head to Edale. We'll come out at Baslow, go towards Hope, then turn right and we'll go to Edale. Then we'll see whether we can find a coffee shop back in the old Castleton. Sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? It does. I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to me. Hello. I am. Are you? Am I allowed to park here without paying a fine? Yeah. Fabulous. I'll take all my clobber off. Well, not all of it. I'll leave some <laughs> on. <laughs> 